All right, guys, I say this gratefully and humbly. Um, it was a bit of a slower weekend. We got 33 items going out for about $1,500. Normally, that's about 45 to 50 items going out for about $2,000 over a long weekend. But we will definitely take $1,500 and 33 items. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the top 10 or 15. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think 10 to 15 is too much. Or if you'd like to see all 33 items that go out. Just let me know. I'm going to be doing these What Sold videos about once a week. And I just want to hear your guys' opinions on how many items you'd like to see. And how long the videos would actually you guys would like to have. So let me know. All right, the first item is right here. It's these two speakers. Speakers are really cool. You don't have to know a ton about them to sell them. Just make sure that they're really nice quality. These are the Stylus 170 version three. I got these for $8 total, $4 each, and they sold for $130 shipped. Um, I had them listed for 109 plus shipping. I accepted an offer for 89 plus shipping. Next up, we got this Waring Pro blender. Waring Pro is definitely a name to look out for. They sell just about everything that you'd find in a commercial kitchen and their products sell for a ton. This sat for longer than I thought it would and sold for less than I thought it would. I probably just had a bad title or bad shipping policy or something like that to turn some customers away. This ended up selling for 80 bucks. I've sold blender I've sold this exact blender for $170. I've also sold a chocolate melting box for $400. They 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 have a lot of really awesome products. I sell their I sell their huge coffee makers for 3-400. Keep an eye out for Waring Pro. They have some smaller items, they have some bigger items, but typically their items go in coffee shops and restaurants around the world. So those businesses are willing to pay up for quality. Excuse my voice a little bit in this video. It is um, 6.15 a.m. I'm trying to get this video done before my shipper gets here so I can show you guys what I actually sold. My wife uh, has been up since 5.15 a.m. She is a morning person. I am not. Um, but you don't have to be a morning person to get up early, and you don't have to be a morning person to uh, be a business owner and get your work done early. So I know it sucks, but get up. Another one of my favorite things to sell. Nice little TI-84 Plus CE. A little different from the TI-84. Um, this one just has a few more programs. Um, but yeah, so this I have listed for $50 plus shipping. This I had listed for $80 plus shipping. Um, it sat for a little longer than I thought it would. Summer slowdown's a real thing. So uh, someone offered me 60 bucks for it, so I accepted that. <laughs> I'm a little sad to see this one go. Um, this is a cinch button-up shirt. It has these dollar signs on it. I used this to make one of my first shorts um, before the channel started to get a little larger. I'll always remember it. It was, it was really fun making that video. Even though it didn't do entirely too well, I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, this sold for $22 plus six bucks in shipping. So after taxes and everything, I think it ended up being just over 30 bucks. This black Wii sold for $45 plus shipping. Next up, we got these Ray-Ban, they're called the Daddy-O sunglasses. These are actually just the frames because these lenses are prescription. You're not allowed to sell prescription lenses on eBay, so I will pop these out and they will need to place their own lenses in. Sunglasses and eyeglasses are very high profit items, but they're very difficult to sell. There are a lot of different rules and regulations on eBay. So it's very intimidating and a lot of people make a lot of mistakes and get Veros, get their accounts suspended for a day, three days, a week, permanently. So I'll make a video on my process on how to sell sunglasses so that way you guys aren't running into any issues because they're my favorite things to sell. I'm usually able to get them for 50 cents to a dollar and I sold these for a hundred bucks. I actually made a short about this VCR player saying it was going to sell for $500. Unfortunately... I tested it and it doesn't work. The tape won't go completely into the unit. So I put it up for parts and it still sold for 80 bucks plus 20 bucks shipping um, in a few hours after it was listed. All right, one of my favorite things to sell, definitely not my shipper's favorite thing to ship. <laughs> Baseball bat, 
Had it listed, I think, for 120. I accepted an offer for 80 plus shipping. I know a lot of people don't like to do it, but um, you gotta accept offers. Um, I, I took a $40 off for this, but it sold, and now I have $100 to go put back into my business. So I'm gonna keep buying more bats for two to $5, and I'm gonna keep selling them for 80 bucks plus. All right, guys, I got these Jordans. They just sold for a hundred bucks. Um, I got these at a yard sale. Um, I was very straight up with the guy. I told him what I was going to do with them. I said, hey, I'm an eBay reseller. If I sell these, they're going to have to go through the authentication process. Um, and so if that fails, I'm going to get a huge mark on my account. Plus, I'm going to lose some money on these. So I got to get them for really cheap. He said he'd give them to me for $50. After I explained all that, I countered with 20 He's like, oh, no, man, I don't know. He's like, I, I got these from Foot Locker a year and a half ago, and they were 200 bucks. And I said, yeah, man, like, I'll give you a little bit more money if you can show me the Foot Locker receipt. That's going to go a long way in the authentication process. And he says, no, I don't have that. And I said, all right, man, because of all that, like, I can give you 25 bucks. He accepted that. Now we're able to get these sold on eBay. I'm going to ship these out to eBay. They're going to run it through their authentication process. If everything goes well, they're going to ship it out to the buyer. I'm pretty sure these are authentic. I, 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 it's, it's got all the paper in the original box. I'm pretty sure he did in fact buy these from Foot Locker and they'll be good to go. All right, last thing I'm gonna show you guys, this is just the 10th item, but this video is already getting pretty long. Again, let me know in the comments the length of videos you guys like to watch, how many items you guys like to see me pull out. I personally like longer videos. I like to watch the, the 20, 30 minute videos. Some people only like to watch two or two to four minute videos and then youtube actually recommends across most niches that the videos are about eight to ten minutes long so you guys just let me know in the comments below this KitchenAid blender cup um i bought the base and this cup and i just threw the base away and i sold just the cup it's actually rare that the base and cup sell together and it's rare that the base sells uh people just have this and they drop it on the floor and it cracks and they're like ah got to replace the cup and they don't want to buy the whole new unit they just want this cup. So I sold it for $40 plus shipping. Ended up selling for more than 60 bucks after everything was said and done. Sorry guys, I just realized I didn't show you guys one remote control cell and this would not be a J-Ride Flips what sold video without a single remote cell. So of the 33 items that I sold over the weekend, three of them were remotes. I'll go ahead and just show you one of these simple ones here. This is a uh, Dish Joey remote control. It's for the hoppers. This is the 54.0 version. I also have a ton of 52.0s and 50.0s. Uh, the higher the number, the more it sells for, obviously, because it's the um, the more newer released brand, the newer released model of the Joey. So it sells for a little bit more premium. This sold for $18.87 plus $5 shipping. Sorry guys, I just realized I didn't show you guys one remote control cell, and this would not be a J-Ride Flips what sold video without a single remote cell. So of the 33 items that I sold over the weekend, three of them were remotes. I'll go ahead and just show you one of these simple ones here. This is a uh, Dish Joey remote control. It's for the hoppers. This is the 54.0 version. I also have a ton of 52.0s and 50.0s. Uh, the higher the number, the more it sells for, obviously, because it's the um, the more newer released brand, the newer released model of the Joey. So it sells for a little bit more premium. This sold for $18.87 plus $5 shipping. Guys, don't click away. Just kidding, it's the end of the video. Bye.